Hey everybody, what's up? It's TJ. You guys, today we are making homemade potato soup. And I've done this before, but I've done it the, like, a cheap way. You know, I just boiled the potatoes and just done the, the um, evaporated milk and butter. I'm doing it much different this time. So, and I'm hoping I can fit it all in one pot. I've got a pretty good sized pot here. That's one of those steam pots you can buy from Walmart. But I'm thinking it's not going to fit. We'll see. I have thirty pounds of potatoes. Okay. Now I'm gonna do one of these with you so you guys can see how I've done it. And I'll just set the peelings here for now. <clears throat> Y'all can use a potato peeler if you want. I just don't use them. And give it a rinse. Cut it that way. Cut it that way. And then bring it to the edge. Put your hand over the knife. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, and I just dump it in here. Now, the reason why I do this, these are all soaking in water. It keeps them from turning brown, okay? And because I had to do so many, I have to do it like this. But seriously. Now, what I'm going to do, let me back this up just a hair, is I'm going to get... A strainer, y'all. There we go. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. Some fancy camera work, huh? Dump it in. I'm going to give it a good rinse. So this one's ready. I'm going to set this up here, get it out of the way, so I can set it right there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to layer this, okay? So it's not so hard to mix up. I'm going to put in some chicken broth. Any kind of chicken broth. I have three different kinds here. can of cream of chicken soup. Let me get a spoon. You can use cream of mushroom if you want, but I'm the only one in the house that eats mushrooms, y'all. So, I hate doing that. Let's see. Put that right there. There we go. That's what I use that for, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna put a handful of cheese. This is mild cheddar cheese. And I grated up three eight ounce blocks, so 24 ounces. A little bit of cheese. I'm gonna wash my hands since I licked it. Good and I'm going to put a block of cream cheese in. Now this one has a little bit missing off of it because I couldn't help myself, y'all. I could not help myself. 
I love cream cheese on Ritz crackers. So it got broken into by this crazy lady. And when I'm, <laughs> see, <laughs> I'm just gonna break it up and drop it down in there. Okay. And woo wee. Messy hands, messy hands. Now I'm going to start bringing my potatoes over. Yeah. I don't know how much will fit in here, y'all. I'm going to do some more. Now y'all see why I get all these bowls. Every time I find them at a yard sale or something, I pick them up. And this is why. Alright. Now I'm going to do another layer of my other stuff. And it don't matter which sequence you do it in. couple of those. Y'all, my countertops are clean, so let me get a pan of broth. Not a can, but a, a carton. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and let it be heating up. See. Can of soup. And I just use the cheap stuff, y'all. I ain't buying all that expensive stuff. I'm a prepper, not a gourmet cook. And you guys, so that you know, before anybody says anything, hang on. This is what I consider short-term prepping. And you should, you know, I do my long-term prep all the time on here. And sometimes I do my short-term prep and people riddle me for it. I mean, they, they're like, how are you going to keep that and blah, blah. I do both kinds of prep. There are two, two ways to prep. You do your short-term prepping and your long-term prepping, okay? Your short-term prepping is I'm making this to get us through anywhere between Two weeks to four weeks. I'm, freeze, I'm freezing it. That's what this is for. I do hamburgers like that. So, you know, once you, you need to be doing it both. Okay? You can't fear losing power all the time because if you did that, you'd never have nothing in your freezer. What I do is I keep two liter bottles of frozen water, ice, in mine. So if it goes out, I've got a little bit of time to do something. I have camp stoves and I have um, rocket stoves and I will can on them if I have to. Okay. But this is short term prepping. So I know, I see, I'm going to be putting these in the bowls with the lids, you know, the little plastic ones. That's what I'm going to be putting them in. Okay. And we need a pair of scissors. I know that my men, my two boys, and my husband and my brother in law can go in there and just get one out and stick it in the microwave. That's a whole block, y'all. But I love to make up food like this and just have it. I love it. I love doing hamburgers, you know, doing it my own way. Mixing it, flattening them out and everything. 
just like I've done the sausage balls. I, you know, I think I had a few people uh, talking about that, you know, not having power. That's not for an absolute long story. That's for a short, a short term. That's another layer, y'all. Look how much we got to go. I may have to do two loads. Did I show you in there? I don't know. Did y'all see him? That's my son. <laughs> Egg salad. You made it already? Oh. Just a small amount. Let me do a little bit more, y'all. Oh, there was something else I wanted to mention and I forgot to mention it and I'm gonna do that now. I was gonna do it when I peeled that potato and cut it up and everything. Yeah, he's coming in here and getting in my way, y'all. When you're peeling this many potatoes or anything else, it's it takes a long time and it makes your hands cramp up. Okay? The stuff will drive you crazy doing it. Um, it took me a good hour to do all this, and that's working as fast as I could, as hard as I could. But before you start, you guys, you need to do what they call um, ergonomics, I think. You stretch your hands like that and go back and do this, okay? Do it several times during your process, and it'll keep your hands from cramping up. Good advice, y'all. Good advice. This is about up to here, so I'm gonna see how much more I can fit in here. Let's do another load. That was a big lump, so. All right, so I'm gonna get this together and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I have it all together, two pots, and I still have that much. That's probably a good five pounds right there, if not a little bit more. So you probably want to do like 25 pounds instead of 30, somewhere around in there. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take a Tupperware, big Tupperware thing, put it in there with some fresh water. I'll rinse it, put it in there with some fresh water. Put it in the fridge, and tonight, I will fix fried potatoes and corned beef. So that's how I'm gonna do that. Usually I cut my, I slice my potatoes for that, but it'll be fine like that too. So we're just gonna let this cook for a little while until those potatoes are soft. And I'm not gonna salt it until it, they're done. You know, I wanna see what it's gonna taste like before I salt it because of the the uh, broth, so we'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all right quick what I was talking about with the potatoes. I covered those so that y'all know I'm gonna do it covered, okay? So I'm gonna rinse these better, put them in here and fill it up with water. I'll go ahead and put some water in it. I'm gonna set it to the side for now.
stragglers down here. too high because your water has got to sit on top of these, okay? You got to cover them all with water. So this is what's for supper tonight. Look at that. And they're covered. Now I just got to find a spot in my refrigerator to put this. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. I have to move a bunch of stuff around, probably. Just put your lid on. And right before I put them in the frying pan, I'm going to rinse them real good again, and we're good to go. So that part of supper is done. That's the hardest part. Let me stir this. Y'all know this is going to be good. Y'all know it, right? Heck yeah, heck yeah. And I want y'all to know, I already tasted of the broth. It's good. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Y'all, I just want you to know, it's taking forever for this stuff to get done. He has been cooking for over an hour. Is it because I'm not we using plain water? I don't know. But what the heck? they they may be about halfway done. So I don't understand. I had to take the lids off because one of them boiled over. I was like, yeah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> but I'm waiting for him to get done. I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I'm back, and it has been forever in jail. It's been cooking for like two hours. It took, took forever for these, and I don't know, it's, I don't know why. I don't know. But anyway. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to let this cool, and I'm going to take half of this, maybe a little more than half, put it in another pot, and let the rest of that cool. But in this other pot, I'm going to mix chicken in with it and make it into a meal. That's my plans anyway. So, here we go. I'm going to attempt to do this. Y'all don't laugh at me now. Y'all already know I'm a mess maker. There's some of it. So let me get this done and I'll be right back. All right, so I think that'll be enough for tonight for supper. I'm gonna drain the juice off of this because I don't want any more juice in there. The broth, whatever you wanna call it. Juice, broth, whatever. a little bit. I got two bottle jars out, but I think one will be enough. And that's it, y'all. And of course, all this will be going into these, and I have a whole bunch more under my cabinet. This is part of what takes up all my space in my kitchen, stuff like this. So, after it cools, I'll put it in there. I have to wait for it to cool so it doesn't melt my plastic. Let me see if I can find a bowl here, y'all. Move you back a little bit. <laughs> okay. This is a Dollar Tree special. That 
chicken can be broken up some more. And of course you can add whatever you want to this crackers, more cheese, sour cream, any of it would be good. Get some juice. Y'all, it's much better when you cook it in broth instead of water, okay? It is so good. That's on my canned chicken. Mm. But anyway, I'm going to freeze all that. Like I said, it's for short-term prepping. It's not long-term, you know, so for at least a couple weeks. That's another thing we have that's easy to fix, and it's homemade. It's good for you. I'll talk to you guys later. Y'all have an awesome day. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.